Hey, what up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, happy Monday or should I say happy makeup Monday. If you like this look, just keep on watching and you should expect to see a new makeup video every single Monday. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay you guys, so I know I look crazy right now as usual. Um, I already did my brows just because sometimes that can take me forever and I'm not having the best brow day, but this will do. And so I'm just going to do a quick, simple makeup look. So using my, let's see, uh, Makeup Forever, this is going to be my foundation. And I'm just going to pump about two and a half pumps and then spot it all over my face and then fill it in. And I have so many mosquito bites all over my body. I even got bit on my face and luckily I have makeup that will cover all that. I don't understand why they like me so much. Okay, like I was saying before, my camera rudely cut off. I'm using my Makeup Forever and per usual I'm just using the Real Techniques um, all over face brush I believe and I'm just going to um, buff it as much as I can into my face and then I will follow with my beauty blender and I'm doing this all over my face normally I always start with eyeshadow but for this look I'm just kind of going for a less is more look so per usual also I'm just going to use my beauty blender and it is a light pink due to my um, Dr. Bronner soap took all the coloring out of this sponge. And then I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Mist and Set as usual. So I'm gonna spray that a lot to get it damp. And then I kinda let it air dry a little bit because I don't want it to rub off my foundation. And I'm just gonna follow and sponge it out. And now that that is set, we are going to follow up with powder. Okay, so using the Eco Styler Tools brush, I'm not sure which brush this is, but it's an awesome uh, dense powder brush. And using the Duo Matte by Makeup Forever, I'm going to apply this all over my face as a setting powder. Okay, so moving on to highlighting and contouring, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the color Fawn and I need highlight because my eyes are uh, darker than the rest of my body, the rest of my face and that's where my discoloration is. So I'm just going to put some in no particular way, I'm going to go under my beauty blender and I'm just going to beat it out. And then using my Sasha Buttercup Cosmetics Setting Powder, I'm going to apply this right where I highlighted, so under my eyes the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin. You just want to set it. Okay, now this is it. This is the end of my look. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just kidding. But now I'm going to use my Amorezzi Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm just going to use that uh, caramel color because it's Let's see, it's right here, and it's the most like my uh, natural eye color, and I'm just going to sweep it all over my eye. I'm just going to apply this color all over my eyes, and then in my crease, I'm just going to build it up over and over and over. Now I'm going to take just a powder brush and just sweep the excess away from my face. And as you can see, it has created 
highlight effect. And you just want to sweep it away. And sweep it away. Another mosquito bite on my face. And sweep the, this away and this away. Okay, so I just did, I applied my liner and my lashes. So now I'm going to contour using the e.l.f. blush brush because I like how it's tapered right there. And I'm going to use my sleek contour kit. Oops, sorry, I'm blinding you guys. My sleek contour kit. And this is in the shade Deep Dark or Dark Deep. It's the darkest one. And I'm going to go right where my highlight is. And normally I use a very precise blend, but for this I don't want my nose to look too contoured, so I'm just going to softly go back and forth like a painter. That gives me a little bit of dimension. And for my cheeks, I'm going to use the same thing I always use, which is my MAC Raisin on my cheeks. So I'm going to use my blush brush, pounce it. And then making sure that it is on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to do the same thing and I bounce it. This, I'm going to use that same uh, contour brush that I use. And I'm just going to bounce the highlight, which is very, very opaque. So a little goes a long way. I'm just going to bounce that on top of my cheek area on the high point. And you see, it kind of gives you that glow. And I learned that if I use too much, oh boy. Okay, one thing I always do right when I apply my face primer is I always apply um, like a Vaseline or a lip balm to soften my lips so that way by the time I'm ready to put my makeup on or put my lip product on, they are soft and moisturized because no cracked lips. So starting out with Prune, this is the NYX pencil, I'm just going to just gonna line my lips here and slightly fill it in. Then I'm going to try the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish in, I think this is in Rebel. Yep, Rebel. So I'm just gonna take it and apply it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait about four minutes and then I'm going to apply another coat because I really want it to be very bold. So, Okay, so that was my makeup look. I hope you liked it. Please hit the like button if you want to see more consistent videos and please also subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>